we are 37 weeks before the baby comes. I haven't experienced the contractions in a while. So I read up online that after you give birth, you're gonna be sore down there and please help with the soreness. It's showtime guys. my baby. So initially, 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 in the beginning, initially, we planned to shoot this series before I gave birth. Um, but due to the lockdown and everything, the team couldn't come over to shoot. So here we are, seven months later, I think. So yeah, baby now is two months. But what we're going to be doing today is I'll be um, answering some of the questions you guys sent me on Instagram about pregnancy. So let's get into it. Everything that I'm about to share with you guys is based on my personal experience and everybody's experience is different. But this is what I went through. First question is, does it ever get better after the first trimester? Um, yes, it does get better after the first trimester. Um, there, for me, there was definitely less puking. I was puking two to three times a day. And when I didn't have anything to puke, I was puking foam. From puking almost every day, multiple times, um, it reduced to like maybe every other week and it would be just once. Um, and I also didn't have to go visit the doctor for my weekly hormone injections. So for me, it did get better after the first trimester. Second question, what did you think you would go through but didn't? So I thought that I would go through like weird cravings. So throughout that pregnancy, at the time, me and my husband were thinking, um, when are you going to crave for something? Are you going to crave for something crazy or whatever not? But throughout the whole pregnancy, I didn't have any weird cravings. I know this is weird, but tea time snack, cottage cheese, and cucumber. But I guess I was more open to try random things. Like there was this trend on TikTok, the watermelon and cinnamon. That was really good. Even if I'm not pregnant now, I still think that's really good. You guys should try it. And the other thing I had was hair fall and really, really oily hair. Yeah, so I'm the kind of person who likes to swirl and catch my hair in the shower and it's usually not this much. Moving on to question number three. Can you wear your normal clothes still? From the end of the first trimester, I wasn't very big but I just felt more comfortable wearing loose clothing but I couldn't wear my normal bras. So your boobs get bigger and bigger and bigger as you progress through, well, at least for me, as I progress through pregnancy. Um, they grew to delivery, they grew like, I think two sizes bigger. And so you cannot wear, so even if you bought maternity bras at the start of your pregnancy, the end of your pregnancy to delivery, you probably have to buy new ones because they grow really big and you just can't wear anything else anymore. Post-pregnancy, I still cannot wear any of my old clothes. Um, what you're seeing now is obviously something really loose, so I can. But in terms of like my shorts and my jeans, sports bras, leggings, nope. Um, I'm working on losing the baby fat, but I'm gonna give it a couple of months. The fourth question is, can you have sex while pregnant? This is actually something we did ask our doctor. Um, Again, I would like to emphasize that everybody is different, so um, do ask your own doctor about this for yourself. But for me, um, she said it was okay, and she said that actually the baby might enjoy the movement. So, the next one is question number five Top three weirdest or worst things that happen to your body? Okay, this is really, really gross. There is no a video to show you guys on this, but I had extra butt hair. It was nasty. <laughs> it was so nasty, okay? And it's different texture. I don't know how detailed I want to get into this, but I guess it's good to know. Like, I didn't know this at all. Um, so, you know, okay, I'm just gonna go for it. Pubes 
are thick and like really rough. Um, and I generally didn't have butt, like hair in that area. But when I was pregnant, it just suddenly appeared and it was... Um, it wasn't puby, but it wasn't like fine hair either. So yeah, TMI, but good to know. Um, the other two things that uh, was really weird or were the worst um, was I had piles. The doctor said I got piles because um, my, I'm, I'm really small. I'm five feet and I, at that time I was like 40 something kgs. I'm really small and the baby was growing and it was pushing basically all my organs and messing it up. So it was pushing against my anus or whatever and so like extra stuff came out that was uncomfortable. And the last one is an outie. Not the worst, but it was just really, really strange to see your belly button protruding. <laughs> and like you just like poke it. It's, it's just weird, yeah. Um, moving on. The sixth question is, three things you didn't know would happen when you're pregnant. Um, what I, well, a lot of things I didn't know would happen when I was pregnant, but the three things that I would like, I'm gonna highlight here is normal activities like walking um, would be really difficult. I tried to stay healthy and fit during pregnancy, and I would go on walks uh, two, three times a week. And when I would go on walks, the next morning, uh, my vagina would hurt really bad, or like my inner thighs would hurt really bad. Um, because then I asked my doctor why why was this and she said you can actually overstretch your muscles um, because your ligaments and everything are really loose during pregnancy and when you overstretch uh, you cause your vagina muscle to hurt so that is a legit thing that happened the second thing is um, your nipples and your vagina grow really strangely uh, yeah your vagina grows and changes that's really really weird it changes color and your nipples as well change color and size. So not only your boobs grow, right? But your nipples, like from a 10 cent coin, grows into a 50 cent coin. So that's gonna happen to you if you're pregnant. The last thing I didn't know um, during pregnancy was your baby needs your heart to pump, even though your baby has its own heart. CTG. <laughs> We're doing a CTG test and you can hear the baby's heartbeat. So it's 150 beats per minute. The last question, question number seven is, how much does it cost to be pregnant? From pregnancy to delivery, I think we spent about 12,000 ringgit. Um, that's because we were at a private hospital and I did have some complications at the start of the first trimester. Sorry about that. Which then, um, made me or caused me to visit the doctor more frequently than usual. So from pregnancy to delivery, 12,000. Um, but there are ways actually where you can save um, money and not spend so much. So my friend decided to go on the government route, which was much cheaper than private. She got her checkups and supplements from this thing called like Clinic Kesihatan. I think I, they have a few around the area. You can Google and find one closest to you. I think it was free or minimal cost. So if you're looking for a cheaper route, uh, more affordable, you can check out Clinic Kesihatan and the government hospitals. So that's all we have for today. If anything I said weirded you or creeped you out, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you have a baby or a child of your own and your experience was different from mine, please share it with us in the comment section because I would really, really like to hear about it. And um, yeah, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Sometimes they may not do things the way that you want them to. Like maybe the way they change the diaper or they shower your baby. But Being a new mom is really, really difficult and boy, you do not get any sleep. In the next episode, we'll be covering the five things I wish I knew before having a baby to get better sleep. Money no longer will be a bother My life would never be the same We could travel all around this world Fly first class every day